Hello, Melody here. I wanted to stop in and give a little informal tutorial about ATC coins. ATC coins are 2.5 inches um, circular and hello Pauline. A lot of people use these cutters, 2.5. Um, they can be cut out with um, Silhouette, Cricut, Circuit, all those things. They also can be easily cut out by hand. They do not have to have a special machine. If you're new at this and you don't have all the extra doodads, you can cut your own circle. So I glued the label. Hi, Judy. Hi, Maxine. I glued the label onto some watercolor paper to give it strength without using actual cardboard. So this is the watercolor paper and I don't know the weight, but it's pretty stiff. So what my goal was is that I would uh, do this in a couple of different ways so that you guys could get some ideas. But I want you to definitely, anyone who hasn't made one, think outside the box and uh, come up with an, a new idea if you have one. And if you don't, then uh, do it the traditional way and uh, decorate it in your unique style. But the one that is for the swap is um, fall or autumn themed. And so, um, and I'm pretty lenient about that. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to have any particular, you know, like it, it won't be judged if it's, if it's not got fall leaves all over it or anything. But what I found was a couple of different ways I could do this. One is I have some trim that I got from the Dollar Tree. Two is I have some rice paper that I've gotten from Chow Bella. And three is this um, Chow Bella paper that has a very nice kind of peachy fallish. Let me see if I can get that. To, yeah, and I just, I just popped out the circle that was with the kit. And then I was going to layer up. And I'm going to uh, do some techniques to that first. So, and I have words here to put on there. That's another thing. I punched out some circles out of a card, um, a greeting card. That's another fun way to get an image that would um, work well for the size and give you a good background. So those are three different ways. So this is, this is uh, out of a uh, cardstock paper pack, right? This is a greeting card. And then these are going to be um, on watercolor paper. So that gives you three or, you know, at least to start three different ways to, to uh, decide how you would like to or what you have. It may end up being that it's all based on the product that you have to work with. And that's understandable. So I'm going to use this uh, YooHoo stick. And I'm going to put that on here pretty good. Make sure it's very covered evenly. Set that aside. And I'm going to find a spot on here that's given me what I'm looking for, which is just a background of a kind of a fall. There we go. Fall colors, right? And it's a background, so it doesn't have to. It's not going to be what says everything. Now I'm going to cut around this. And this is rice paper. And I may have to tack down those edges. I've not tried to do rice paper with Yoohoo glue. I've done it with um, napkins a lot. This is another, uh, napkins would be another technique that would go well with this project. My circles are not the best by any means, but just doing the best so that I can. So there we go. So now that's a nice background. I like that. And uh, we'll let that dry for a minute and then see if it adheres uh, well enough. Set this aside. This one, I thought about figuring out what I could do to it and then add one of these, this uh, texture to it. But I'm not sure exactly. Hmm. I'm not sure how exactly I would actually adhere it, though, now that I think about it. Hmm. So I'll think about that one for a little bit longer. I'm not sure about it. So let's, no, I don't want to tear up that paper. Um, let's, uh, let's do this one on here. So we'll just do this one on here. And that way we have the front 
in the back and we can get started on the edges because that's where that's the decorating part you guys that will come come somewhat natural you'll either see something on uh, youtube or be inspired by something or pinterest but it's the fundamentals that i that i think are important for you to know so usually the the cards are two or three layers they'll be your back a label they'll be whatever you're using using for a stiffening agent or platform and then they'll be the decorative it doesn't have to be that way that's just uh, one of the ways it can be done right so now what i would do and what i was shown is you take something sharp and you start to rub the edge and that makes all three of those layers uh, become one edge right and this doesn't have to be done either you guys this is how I learned to do them and how I do them and I don't do the same thing every time so you may end up with one for me that doesn't have this technique on the back but then it was recommended to do this with a coordinating color it may be that what you're doing would be black or pink but this gives it a very nice finished edge that makes all the layers look more complete. So you see how that just kind of uh, framed it out and gave it. Now it's now all those three layers are more like they're just a, a coin type uh, shape and feel. Okay. So now what I'll do with that, since I have it out, is go ahead and edge this a bit. This one's getting pretty empty. I am definitely going to need to either re-ink it or buy another one. I, I have never re-inked one, and so we'll see if I manage it this time. Okay, so there's that one. And now this one could be layered up on. This one, look at that, it's stuck. It's a little bit thinner because we didn't uh, do the one extra piece on top. We did rice paper, but it's ready to be, um, the two that are there are ready to be treated like this. Use this technique. There's a little bit of a lift right there. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing that we did with that one. We're all looking forward, uh, a lot of us newbies that have been here for a while, looking forward to this ATC coin swap because we've uh, we've done it in the past and, and it started a bit of a collection and then just never really got back to filling it in. So this would be awesome. And I think autumn colors are wonderful. There's just lots of ways that we can set these up to uh, feel autumn without going just full on you know full on this is more uh, traditionally autumn looking this is vintage but because the colors and if i do it right we'll see we'll see what uh so and then this one what my plan was is that i was going to punch out another one of these glue this onto i have these in uh layers of two and this is what's in the freebie folder uh, and i'm not sure why they aren't printing out the right size but it's okay to have that bit of a, a frame around it although it makes it a little bit smaller but anywho it's, it's the way that they ended up and i'll see if i can do something about it okay so I'll glue these on to this so that I have two more circles to cut out that have the sturdy stable 
And a lot of times we've done in the past is we make a master board and that's where you decorate a page of a substantial size and then you cut it out after you've done decorated it, painting it, stamping it, stenciling it, whatever it is that you want to do. Hi Beth! Um, you, uh, you cut that out into the sizes that you want and so you get lots of different images out of the same project because each little section would come out just a little bit differently. Okay, so now I'm going to cut these out. Again, uh, this is watercolor paper, pretty heavy duty watercolor paper. I like it because um, my husband found it at the bins and so it's um, something that works for me at a cost that uh, I'm okay with. Huh? Got to keep our budgets in mind, ladies, whether you're shopping for yourself or whatever it is. Boy, I was a little rough on that, wasn't I? You, um, we don't want uh, junk journaling to become uh, junk hoarding, right? So I have to catch myself all the time. Retail therapy is a very big temptation for me, and I... Uh, give into it way too often but it's getting the time of season where we're going to have to shop anyways because we're going to be doing our Christmas shopping and holiday food shopping okay so now I will put this one on here and I'm using the Tombow Green which is a um, non- water-based glue. Um, some people like it, some people don't. A lot of times these glues are all about personal preference anyways. Okay, so now this is just the tiniest bit bigger than this. So I'm going to trim off this edge. And do this. These can be very addicting, and I'll tell you why. Because you can get into this where you get instant gratification. You're making such a small um, project that you don't have to spend a ton of time doing it before you get to see results, which is really cool. Hi, Nicole. So just so you know, there's no comments coming up. It didn't occur to me before when there was three people. I thought, oh, you know, maybe they're just watching. But there's no comments coming up. Uh, I haven't seen uh, anything if anyone is saying hi. But I, I always say hi uh, no matter whether you guys say anything or not. So if you're wondering. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we have our labels. We have three already, I mean, just like that. And they're three completely different types. And uh, they, um, let's see, I guess that's the three that I, yeah, that's the three that I was planning on. So I wanted to work on this a little bit. Hi, Andrea. I wanted to show you, this was a trim out of this kit right here. And I put it through my um, punch and I was trying to, I was thinking I would I would darken these edges, make it look lacy, as lacy as I could, so that it would stand out on that background, right? Because this side doesn't look quite as nice as the other side. So I was thinking like that, but I was kind of hoping that I could get that a little bit darker in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't know if you know what I mean, but yeah, like that, so that the light stands out a little bit more behind there. More contrast is what I'm going for. Okay, so I'm going to glue this here, and then I'll cut it off, and then I have this Memories 
and I'm sure I can find something else, uh, even a bit of lace. And this is where your snippets come in. You know, you save your, your just little bits of things and, and have them around. And, oh, like I've got this black here. Not that it would go with any of this, but this in a cream color would be exactly what I needed. And that's all it would need is just that. Um, I don't think I have anything within my reach that will definitely work. But... Um, I'm looking to make sure I have every other color just about, but well, I have this little bit. What do I have here? I've always got something running around. So we have this done, and there, and that's the top, so that works out really well. Let's say we glue this down carefully. Just no, don't need a ton of glue to uh, keep it where it's going, I don't think. And this main middle area is going to be where it's going to stick down. So kind of like that. Then I'm going to cut off the edge around. I used to uh, punch out and cut out things out of magazines. That was my favorite thing when it came to doing this. And I would put the circle punch right on the magazine and, and take it out just, just so that it would be such a nice complement to the shape of these with whatever the image was. Okay. Achoo. Sorry, guys. Yesterday, I must have gotten my allergies flared up like crazy, but I have no idea exactly what I did. Okay, so there's that. And then, so this was a, a, a circle out of a, a paper pack. This was a trim that I did with the punch. So, I mean, so far, this is not really anything, you know, any kind of big, big major work or effort. But now I'm going to look and see. I think I like the lines with the. Yeah, I do. So if I put this here. And I don't like it to be straight edges, so I take this with my fingernail on these edges that just look so straight and blunt, and I start to pull on them. And um, I thought I had the glue I wanted, but I'm just going to go ahead and make it work with this one. This one's not going to adhere as quickly and as well, but if I don't touch it, it will. Do just fine. Plus, it's okay if it's up a bit and not um, flat. I like it to be a little bit 3D. And I can cut those edges off if I want. I'm trying to maybe make it at a bit of an angle. And then this I'll do straight. Oh, and I shouldn't have done that. I need to do this. This would definitely need to be distressed. Definitely. There we go. So and then I'll put this on here. So this is just a word that was fussy cut out of a paper pack. And then, yeah, and it's definitely that glue. If I had my good glue, I wouldn't have to do this. But I'm going to have to do this because this glue will take longer. So anyway, then I can come around with some glitter glues or gems or um uh just anything that would you know give it a bit of sparkle so i'll let that sit for a minute and um let's see what i don't know if i had a, a nece necessarily a plan after this point with these two but um a lot of times um a magazine image or um let's see i have let's see now this is an uh, like an encyclopedia of nature so unless I found something with a fall image, I don't know that this uh, book would. I just had this here because I gutted it and was using uh, the cover for a project on Saturday night. I'm going to make it my, uh, see, I wish I had more of something a little bit. That color would be cool. Yep, this is not the book. Oh, there we go. This might, I could do something with this. Watch me do something with this, ladies. I'll figure it out. That's all I needed was some fall leaves. So now what I was saying 
about taking it out of the magazine, right? So let's say we take the paper punch, not yet, the paper punch, and we get all of that beautiful fall color. Now this is not liking to go through um, thin paper, but I don't have to have it perfect because I'll show you what I'm going to do anyways. So this is going to be my my uh, attempt at having real versus fake. Does that make sense? Probably not. But if it does, then you'll know what I'm talking about is that this is a real image of fall foliage. And what I'm putting it on is a fake image, you know, not fake, a artist rendition of fall foliage. Let's get this just like that. So this is the kind of things you can make artist trading cards and you can make them like you think people would want to see them. Or you can also make things that just is your personal rendition of, of your mind's eye. Like our friend Judy's uh, uh, store. It's in your mind's eye. What do you see when you're doing this type of stuff? What would be cool? Because that's what you really want to do. It is, it is admirable and nice to do things that you think everyone will think is beautiful. It's also just very cool. Um, look, there is beauty in simplicity. Mm. Adventure awaits you. I'm not sure. I really like that there's beauty and simplicity because I don't know why. I really honestly I don't know why. Start doing things you love, have an open heart. Um make today count, embrace the journey. There we go. I'm in the fall of my life's journey anyways. So now what I think I'm going to do though is I'm going to put this on here, which it's going to need just a little bit more glue. I never usually trust that this or washi tape, which speaking of washi tape, ladies, do we have any, I'm looking to see if I have any washi tape that I think could add to this. And I don't to this one, but we'll see about the next one. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here right in the middle of that. Hi, Mary Griffiths. I'm going to cut this out so that there's a bit of a frame. I don't like to cut things straight or make them try to make them look perfect because when I do, I fail. So this is why I just kind of do it how I do it, right? Right. Okay. So now, though, um, there are pens and things, right? Uh, Posca pens and and um, think of Stella pens and all kinds of pens and different things that you can work with. And I'm thinking an outline on that would be kind of cool. I got to come up with a. Unless it's, I, don't, I, I don't know, maybe this peachy color. I don't know if this will stand out. This isn't the kind of pen that like is opaque, but yeah, that'll work. I can make lines with that. So, and then you just make, make little lines around it that are kind of haphazard to draw the eye there. Now let's do this. So we have this one and this one and this one if I um if I if I find something in my journeys here while I'm doing a couple other things I will try to use it let me see where is my I'm not finding my glitter um glitter glue so I'm gonna have to use the satiny stuff I probably took it to the other side of the room and was using it over there. That's the only bad part about having multiple tables to set things on. There's got to be a color in here that will work though. If I keep looking, this green might look nice on there. Oh, I'm, I'm looking for this one. I'm looking for that one. That one I definitely need just either, that would be a good color, but I think it would blend in too well. 
I'm sorry, guys. I just want to rem remind you, I can't see any posts or any, you know, no highs or hellos or questions. And I'm so sorry. Um, I'm going to just put three dots here. There we go. So that just gives it a little bit of a focus, focal point, right? So that just fills in that area. Um, a little bit of glitter uh, pin. Let's see, I have, this is the Wink of Stella. I'm really bad with these things though. I mean, I have, this one is kind of dark, but I'll, I'll go over this edge a little bit just to create some, some pretty um, like iridescence maybe. Maybe that'll be what happens. I see it. I don't know if you guys do, but so that gives us a little bit of that. And then, so this is the Wink of Stella pen. Um, it doesn't say on here which color it is, but that's what it is, is a Wink of Stella. These are Wink of Stellas, but they're more of a, considered a marker. And let's see, I have them, um, I got them in a pack of colors, so I do have, there's a gold. This might, this might be something I could put just a little bit of hint of gold on this side. Just so it pops off there a little bit. So there is um, some gems, or, you know, uh, what are they called? This one is scribbles but what i'm thinking is nouveau drops that's the name i was thinking of but so this one oh come on melody um i could cut off the edges a little bit and i may i could uh uh get those a little bit brown with my um but you can kind of see in there the flowers on the edge which is real dainty and fine and then the memories and then the it's just it's just a simple but hi jennifer I'm uh, sharing the video in the event about the ATCs. So this is one, and it has the label on the back, and we learned how to layer up the different levels of uh, papers, different uh, textures of paper. This one is my um, contrast between um, real fall foliage and um the fall foliage that somebody drew and then it says embrace the journey and i do think that that needs a little bit more oomph it just i mean they can be i've seen a lot of them that are not much more than this and it's just what they call you know a beautiful simplistic but for me sometimes if there's not a glitter or a metal oh i just don't know i don't know how to do things without some glitter or metal do i it's just the way i am Okay, so there's there's just a little bit of little bit of wink of Stella on there. It'll it'll shimmer when they turn it the right way. Okay, so there's that one. Then we have this one, and so far I haven't seen anything uh, here on the table that. Um, well, I did get a couple of fall. I, there's just the, the images are so big, though I wouldn't really be able to cut anything out of that. The other thing that I really like to do is um, when you're looking at certain books, mm, let's say you're, you know, you've got the books that you've been gutting. Sometimes you can cut out words. This is, this of course is a diet book. So nothing in here is going to end up being something that I would be able to cut out easily. I'd have to really cut out each word at a time magazines are the best so but you can get settle for more I kind of like that that's hit me that's hit me ladies and that's the way this needs to be don't overthink it don't look for the perfect thing don't make this creation the best creation you've ever done make it make it make it fun and easy and then as you go you'll take other things and make them the best thing you've ever done but for now just have some light-hearted no pressure 
no judgment fun with um, a tiny little tiny little project that you're going to share with somebody who's going to put it in a container you know uh, those plastic sheets for um, those plastic sheets for the uh, baseball cards they're going to put it in there and they're going to look through it occasionally make themselves smile and uh, you know it's just a way to to share what you were doing and how it made you feel with someone else when it gets to them it's not all about perfection or perf you know being um, performing it, when you look at making things as trying to get the reaction in all honesty you're you're doing a performance and that's not bad i do a perf hell on excuse me uh he double hockey stick i'm doing a performance right now in all honesty this is me you know bring something to you guys but uh i am going to uh very wholeheartedly try to make this fun i'm not going to stress about it i'm not going to try to be perfect I'm, I'm working with what's on my desk or what i can find around me so i want you guys to see that not all of this stuff is fancy uh, store bought and you know you got to have the Tim Holtz you got to have the Dina Wakely you got to have all this have it if that's what you want but you don't have to have it you can you can uh, make so much with just what's around you on your coffee table end table nightstand your junk mail obviously that's why a lot of the reasons you know and that's the biggest reason we're called junk journals uh, makers because of the people used to use their junk mail i rarely use junk mail except for envelopes but there's a lot of other things around me on a daily basis that i see that i use so i'm going to put this in here i'm going to try to get it centered but if it doesn't like i've said ladies i'm not going to stress about it not going to ruin my fun with perfection. I'm going to put more glue on here because I don't have my Helmar. I'm getting sad without my Helmar. Okay, so I'm choosing. Okay, so there's all the different 360 degrees you can make this. I'm choosing for my mind's eye this way. It's just the way that it feels right to me. It could have gone every direction and still looked just as great okay no pressure but that's the way that it looks right to me so i'm going to do this and then we're going to find something that we want to put up there and um, there's all kinds of let's see that's a very neutral color palette so i would have to stay very careful and i'm wondering if i could either go this 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 color this color is crystal drops in the copper penny i like that it's going to be just enough contrast just enough okay so my, my glue is is uh takes a longer to dry than what um i'm used to let me put the lid on all of these because they're going to dry out this especially and it was a little bit spendier than what i usually spend so i try to take really good care of it although honestly i should take care of everything on the same level but <laughs> you know how it goes okay so i'm gonna take um yeah i'm gonna mix the metals and i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna go like that and like that with the gold and then I'm just going to do a line of the copper. Just for now. And then when it dries, I'm probably going to go across the top with something. Um, I, have, I have really thin washi tapes like this one now this pink wouldn't work right now but um i could darken it though but this one this one might would work and i'm actually wondering about that might bring a little bit of color i have quite a few though um the wash the narrow washi tapes come in handy 
I mean, I have them in glitter. Uh, I found chocolate. That's what I'm going to eat as soon as I'm done. I'm wondering if this one wouldn't be the best one, and I'll I'll tell you why. Because I think with the with the ink, I could darken it enough to where it doesn't look quite so pink. So I'm going to take this glue. Let's see. Hi, Kim. Hi, Diane. Happy to see you guys. So I'm just going to run this. And I should have probably done this differently. I could have done the washi tape first and then maybe put the dots on top of that. But because I didn't think about it, I'm just going to go ahead and show you um, that the washi tape would be a good accent also on top of the glitter glues and sentiments. Okay, so I've got that down. Wish I could see you guys' comments. I feel very lonely because I know you're there, but I can't hear it. You know, I can't read what you're saying. I, I, I know you guys are saying something, and I'm so sorry. If I'd have realized, I would have uh, gone out and come back in, but I didn't realize. So now I was thinking, uh, and that it might even maybe needed a louder washi tape, right? So, but that did give it, that did frame it out a little bit. It, it changed the ups, upside of that to where, um, anyways, this one's, this one's just a little bit basic. It's a little bit blah, but I can add to it. I could take it apart and redo it. Um, it's not set in stone. It's just one option of what I do with that. And then there's the label on the back. Then there's this one, which I'm more happy with. I feel like the, um, composition on this one is better. And I actually like this one even though it's a little bit it's a little bit plain because I just really liked the way the yin and the yang look and it was kind of something that came from my mind's eye so that makes it even more special right so I'm gonna let you guys go I hope this helped a little bit I worked I, I wanted you to understand the the fundamentals of them and then I think it's important not to go too far out of the uh, realm of these because they do fit into a pocket most of the times and uh, if it's too much it won't fit secondly um, you don't want to do anything too bulky because again it has to fit inside of that plus the envelope to mail it so here's just a few just fun fun having fun and uh, you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me this Saturday, Sunday afternoon and I will see you tomorrow one o'clock bye bye